Hello, Mr. Newton here. Welcome back to Total War 1942 and the USA campaign or United States of America campaign. You're playing as America in the 1942 campaign, which is a World War II campaign. So the game started in 1942. We're still in 1942. We played for a bunch of turns in Rome Total War, which this mod is based on. It's a mod for Rome Total War and Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. It works for both not for Alexander uh, and some information is that the naval battles for historical battles and custom battles only work with the barbarian invasion expansion but everything else works with uh, Rome to the war the vanilla game so it's not for Alexander and uh, <coughs> as for the mod uh, it was created by Dave Xerianus, the same guy that ported Lord of the Rings to the War to the remastered version of Rome to the War. And it also was made by Salazar. I believe Salazar made the map and did some gameplay and scripts and such. And uh, Dave X did uh, most of the other stuff in the game. Uh, and uh, <coughs> I also helped with the project a little bit. I joined the team in, I believe. Uh, around uh, May 2018 and uh, yeah, I, I added the 207-211 quotes uh, all based on World War II and I did the faction descriptions for all the factions in the game except the Spanish state and I did some gameplay stuff then I did a sub mod for the game that I played a German campaign in, in 2020 I believe I started the campaign in January 2020 and ended it in December 2020 and then I've improved on it in October 2021 and then I started this campaign I believe I started this campaign in October 2021 so I haven't played it in a while I believe last the time I played it was late November 2021 and I uploaded the video I believe in December uh, so we are back in the campaign I felt like playing it the reason I haven't played it in a while is because it with Rome Total War I can't use the Bandicam so I need to use the Shadowplay recorder of, of NVIDIA, the graphics card and I need to use uh, Filmora to process the video which takes twice the time uh, it took to play the, the video so if I play for one hour it will take two hours to, to process the video if I play for three hours it will take six hours to process the video okay a candidate for adoption benefactor Dwight Eisenhower well we can accept we are rich. America is probably the richest faction in the game. You can also uh, start the script. So we are allied with Great Britain, French Republic, and League of Nations. They are the other Roman Senate factions. So League of Nations is the Roman Senate. And then uh, I believe the United States are the Brute Roman faction. The British Commonwealth of Nations is the July Roman faction, and uh, then the French Republic is the the, the the third Roman faction. Then we are allied to the India faction and to the Soviet Union or the United Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR. And we are allied to the Chinese Republic as well, the nationalists in China, or the Republic. We are at war with the Italian Empire, with Bulgaria, with the Third Reich. At the and the Japanese Empire. We were at war with the Vichy France as well, but we made peace with them temporarily. We lost a battle against them earlier. I believe our first battle was against French here. And we lost the battle, so I didn't want them to invade, so I made peace with them. So we are kind of weak in Casablanca in Morocco currently. They are holding Marrakesh. I believe they have the upper hand. So currently we are not at war. We are British Commonwealth of Nations diplomat outside of Casablanca. We are about to invade Africa too. I want to play it like in history and which France is the weakest Axis power out of the, the main four I believe. So we have a British ship here. They are allied but they could betray us of course. Here we have an army, it's ready to be shipped. You have the maximum number of uh, action points, which, is, uh, which are the points you can move. 
during a turn, so we can move immediately this army. We'll do that. We'll move this army. What general is this? This is um, right Eisenhower, known general. And we'll move the fleet. We want to invade somewhere. So Spain is supposed to be neutral, but they are allied to the Axis in the game just to prevent the Axis from attacking them. We'll move this army towards the port of Casablanca. Because we want the army to fight the Vichy French. We are too weak to fight the Germans. We have too many armies in Europe, we need way more armies. Also we have an early army, mostly infantry and diverse tank, the T1 Cunninghams. We have one medium tank here, the, the M4 Sherman I believe. Uh, it's good, but against the Germans it's not very good. Uh, so the planes, we have four plane units, Corsairs, but the American fighters are not that good. They, they lost against the French ones. And the French are not the best either, so uh, America has the best bombers I believe in the game and they have the best economy and uh, they have really good infantry but the infantry do not really count. Uh, I think America's main uh, like uh, uh, the, the, the main benefit of playing the United States of America is that you are isolated from most of your enemies and you are rich so you can build up everything in, in peace of course in this sub mod I've added some factions to South America to make it a bit harder but each area in South America has like for example Portugal's area in, in, in South America Brazil consists of one area Sao Paulo Germany's area Argentina consists of one area and uh, Spain's area, Chile, consists of one area. They have one area each. And then we have the League of Nations and Ally. They have two areas, I believe. Mexico and Colombia's capital, Bogota. And then we have an area here, Panama. And yeah, uh, if you are betrayed by the League of Nations, they might uh, take this area. But otherwise, one of the factions down here might move up here and take an area from the League of Nations and then move against us, but the thing is that they have uh, only one city each, while we have 12 cities uh, in mainland North America. So we are the clear advantage in North America. In total we have 22 regions. I might have conquered, I believe, one or two regions as well since we started the campaign. I believe I took back the Philippines that the Japanese took during the first time, I believe. And, and then I conquered this area from Chinese rebels. It was supposed to be held by Japan, but uh, I believe uh, communist Chinese had revolted here and uh, I took it from the communists. Okay, and then I liberated, I believe, Balik Papen from the Japanese. Britain is still holding Singapore because I sent up an army here. Help have also um, liberated Kuala Lumpur, I believe, from the Japanese, but only have infantry there. It's not a very good defensive force. I believe I moved troops to attack Manila. No, I moved the army here too. We, we attacked Kuching, held by the Japanese, and then we took back Balik Pavan. Now we're here. Could use the fleet. move the army. We need to leave uh, some riflemen. Now we can move towards uh, Manila, this army. Question is to have uh, anything interesting. Uh, two units of anti-tanks. That's not good enough. How many do we have here of riflemen? We have uh, 
86 riflemen in Balik Papen. If we'll have to do for now. The region might uh, revolt, we'll see. Let's move a unit of uh, assault infantry to Kuching. We'll move the anti tank unit to the ships. Then we can move this fleet up there. Be ready to invade Manila immediately. Japan here has two units of uh, Renault Utsu tanks, improved Renault FT French tanks, and they have a unit of riflemen. We can imme immediately attack there. But we need to build rams. Okay, we need to wait one turn at least before we can attack. It will be an easy victory. Take Manila from Japan. We'll do that next. Problem is if areas revolt and such. Okay, we have a fleet here to a bunch of infantry troops. We merge the troops there. Okay. We do not have enough troops to fight any other fleet. So we are bordering Thailand here, I believe. We want to attack Saigon held by the Japanese Empire. But um, not now, they have two units there. We will attack there after we have taken Manila from Japan. Troops here as well. Can move one unit out. Let's see if they have any troops here. Can move another unit out too. No, there are no enemy troops over here. Okay. Let's move another unit out then. Riflemen. Just want to scout the area for Japanese troops. I believe there could be Japanese troops somewhere. Okay. We won't do anything more this time. Had a higher here too. We need to move the planes from there. Have the trooper ship there. Okay. We have no real fleet in this area in the Pacific, but we moved some troopers here so we could move the troops from from the Ayers to the areas where Japan had regions. Okay. Our fleet couldn't move more this time. We're moving this fleet towards Africa. It's a basic fleet. It has, as far as I can see, three units of riflemen, one unit of um, anti tanks, a grenadier unit, and four units of assault infantry. At least one unit of M5 Howitzer, one unit of Stokes Mortar, three units of uh, T1 Cunningham, and four units of Corsairs fighter planes, and one unit of um, M4 Sherman medium tanks, and we have an armored officer's car with the General Dwight Eisenhower, Dwight D. Eisenhower probably in history. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is a basic army, it wouldn't stand a chance in Germany. German has better tanks, better planes, and probably better artillery. Now we will, we will attack uh, in Africa and attack the Vichy French. We need way more armies before we can attack um, Germany. Okay, um, here we had General Donald Roosevelt and Billy Nelson could move one of the generals and they could move this general down too could move a bit further could land him in Spain but we won't do that could move away further actually ok 
Okay, they couldn't reach Africa. Yeah, this is an interesting campaign. The problem is that uh, I need to process each video. Okay. For our diplomats, we should have diplomats somewhere. So the French Republic is still holding Aleppo. And Britain is holding Damascus and Jerusalem and Baghdad. Okay, so Britain and France is, are dominating the Middle East. Uh, third Reich diplomat here, Gerd Diesel, uh, side of the Turkish army there. Fre the British have taken Cairo, capital of Egypt, maybe they held it from the start. Uh, Tobruk is held by the French Republic, which is the free French, the good French. Then we have the Benghazi, the capital of Libya. It's no, not the capital, but one of the big cities in Libya, it's held by Britain. Okay, two br large British armies here. General James Holland. Okay, and the captain. You can see our allies, Britain and France, because they are part of the Roman factions in the game. Same with the League of Nations. William Excel here. They have been quite aggressive down here. They've taken Addis Ababa uh, from uh, the Italians, and the Khartoum might have been taken too, and Mogadishu. So they've defeated the Italians. The British are really aggressive down there. Or the French Republic uh, is fighting the Vichy France. We failed to defeat the witch French. We'll soon be back. What about mainland America? South America. We have a diplomat here. We have the uh, like Chilean army, Spanish army. Presenting the Chilean army, they're pretty strong. If we took a look at this army previously in a previous video, which it's, it's been a while, they have an armored officer's car, they have uh, anti aircraft trucks, riflemen, assault infantry, they have uh, like, uh, like 40 artillery, Stokes mortar, Mrs. Smith 109 fighter planes. Stuka tactical bombers and Panzer I and Panzer IV light and medium tanks and some anti tank infantry units. So their riflemen are the Italian ones, I believe. With unique Spanish skins. Spanish looked somewhat similar in this game to what the Chileans looked in the, in, in the real world. They were they were um, they wore brown uni uh, uniforms. Like German helmets, the assault infantry look more correct than if they have the German helmets. Okay, but I believe uh, Chile lost their capital to the rebels. Very unfortunate. I did some play testing previously, and neither this faction or I believe Japan lost their areas to the, to the rebels. But in this campaign, they lost two of the areas to the rebels immediately. They could probably easily take it back. The rebels only have infantry, and they suck you know, the resolves against tanks and planes. So then we have the Portuguese army representing the Brazilian army here. We have a spy, female spy outside. I like him. We have a diplomat. No, it's a League of Nations diplomat. Okay. We have a spy here, so you can see their army. They also. Have tanks and such. They have really good uh, Wellington bombers. Unique for this faction. British bomber but unique. Portugal. Wellington. Then they have some Hurricane British planes. Unique Portuguese skins. They have the M4 Sherman. Medium tanks. 
the best tanks of the Brazilian and Portuguese faction. Okay. So they represent Brazil here, but they are Portugal. Is there a limit of the own factions? Okay. Um, I didn't want all of South America to be the League of Nations. Here we have the League of Nations armies. Ally. Speak to these guys again. They might be destroyed if they do not take an area. No, they won't because they are Spain. So they have uh, other areas. They will take back that area probably sooner or later. Left click on the list yeah, of we will ask for map information anyway. A balanced or very generous treaty. Okay. Hopefully they will take back that area very soon. Have the army to do that. The good army, in my opinion. Would be able to fight an American early army, but not late army of America. Okay, Mexico is also heavily defended. We have a huge fleet over here. We want to send an army somewhere. So let's move this army back, I believe. Let's see, we have uh, mostly infantry here. Infantry sucks, of course. We also have a border against Britain, so we can't move out too many troops. Infantry. They won't be able to defend well. Just uh, tanks and such. some troops okay so a fleet over here I think we'll move that fleet to the port here of New Orleans and then uh, so the troops I think we can move a unit of tanks to the ship. T1 Cunningham tanks. And we can move the two units of assault infantry. And we can move a general, uh, Lawrence Williams family member. We will keep the plane there. We we'll move out these troops too. So assault in front of the four of them now and two T1 Cunningham tanks. We'll keep the rest. We'll move these there we have half an arm now. And uh, in Washington. We have some interesting infantry we can send. Grenadiers and then the tank units, we'll send them too. unit of assault infantry to the army. The 
wood like planes up there. Okay, we'll move a plane to Boston. If it's more important to defend than places down here. Move another plane over here to New York. Okay, planes are the best units when defending. Infantry could be moved to the army. Anything better than riflemen will be moved to the army. Okay, so here we had some better stuff. Could actually use some artillery. I think we'll move all the artillery down to the army. Couldn't reach this time. Can't move as, as long distance as the others. We can move um, anti-aircraft trucks. Then. Yeah, we will move the anti-aircraft trucks to the army. They are not that good. We will move the tanks as well. Get rid of the T1 Cunninghams. Assault infantry they are used slightly better than riflemen. If they have machine guns, but they are still infantry. They are not as good as snipers or anti tanks or such. We can move these troops there too. Uh, two more slots open. Might want to replace some of the units, better stuff. Here we have another tank unit. We'll add the Cunningham unit. Salt infantry, grenadiers. Certainly we'll send more grenadiers there. Yeah, we will send the tiller. There are three units of tiller, uh, and I think we do not need uh, all of these. We'll move out three units of uh, assault infantry. We can move them into New Orleans. To open up room for the tiller. Three different units of tiller with the M5 Howitzer. The M53, M55 mobile artillery, and then we have the Stokes motor artillery. So they will be welcome in the army, and uh, with another Grenadier unit, let's move it down. They are good. What another assault infantry unit? One huge fleet and a lot of smaller packs of 
trips. Okay. <coughs> we have a huge army in Panama. It will be needed to defend in case we are betrayed. The League of Nations or something. Could still go there with the fleet and pick up the pick up one plane and some tanks and such. Don't know. Maybe. Here we had a bunch of troops. Could be interesting. I think we will uh, certainly move the tank. And for Sherman to the army. And uh, I don't think we need more artillery. You have an M7 priest, it's a different type of trailer. I think we will keep them for a different army. Oh, we could send the BMW. No, th these are the Holly Davidson motorcycles of the Americans. I, uh, I almost said BMW motorcycles, but that's the Germans. Okay, so they are Holly Davidson motorcycles. Holly Davidsons. Okay, let's move the tanks. Okay, so now we have a better army. I think we will still replace the infantry. Let's move out some infantry. Okay, there are three artillery units that I would want in an army, but we will keep them for a different army. We can send another tank unit. Too. Tanks are always welcome. Couldn't reach this time. Okay. We'll move out these troops so we can add the artillery the next time too. Okay, so we have almost no infantry now, but that's fine. It would be a much stronger army if it has almost only mechanized stuff. But it's a bit weak without planes, I guess. Tanks are good and artillery, but they will be weak against planes. You can't move out planes if you only have one plane unit there. You need at least two plane units. To move them out. So the priest artillery unit. But I think we will keep them for a different army. Can't really attack this time. We need to gather all the troops first. Okay, what about our diplomats? There are two diplomats and one spy. We've already used that one. Sorry. In Rome to Lord, we can use them many times. We have another one up here. I didn't know that. So we have Finland over here. Have we spoken to them? Yeah, I think so. They only have Petrosevots. They lost their capital and such. Okay. So who do we not? on the map. We, we have uh, Soviet, we have the Axis powers, including the minor powers. <coughs> we have everyone in Africa, and uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran are not a part of the game. I believe uh, Saudi Arabia joined the war against Axis in 1945 or something, and we aren't really a part of World War II. And uh, Iran got uh, steamrolled by Britain and Soviet from two sides, so maybe aren't really a part of it either. And uh, South America, we have, we do not have all the areas there, but most. Okay, I uh, think it's in Asia that we lack some factions. We need to go there and speak to Japan and China and some others. Uh, but to take the diplomat there, the closest diplomat would be the one in outside of Chile. 
and uh, yeah, we need to send a fleet there. Could send this trooper. Ah, this is League of Nations, okay. Uh, then we'll just move them down. We couldn't reach this time. Maybe the next time. Pick up the diplomat and move him to Asia. Speak with the Asian factions there. Here we have some tanks and such, but this area could be attacked by the League of Nations. They have some good units. Let's move this fleet to the port here. Yeah. Okay. Have at least four ships there. So we can't attack in Africa this time. The army that is currently there is too weak. Lost its previous battle. And the other armies are on their way. We can't attack Manila. We need to wait one turn. And uh, our new army hasn't really embarked on the ship yet. Okay. So we'll check if we have uh, done the recruitment and such. We are still construct constructing ships in Jacksonville. While in Chicago we are going for tanks and bikes and such because I believe that couldn't construct ships there. So we'll stop this. We'll, we'll go for planes. I need more planes. I want planes in the army too. Uh, as for the fleet, we do need more ships for sure. So we'll go for some more ships in New Orleans. Same in this area. Dallas. And in Denver. I think we we'll go for planes. So we really need more planes. Las Vegas. I think we will go for planes. That's what we are lacking in the army currently. <coughs> and in Los Angeles, we can go for some ships. We need more than one fleet. We need at least three fleets. We have a chance against the British fleet if they betray us. Or against the German fleet, etc. I believe the Italian fleet, the German fleet, and the Japanese fleet are all three in total. Three huge fleets. So we need at least three huge fleets Mataram we could go for Grenadiers Balipapam we'll go for troopers Batavia Constructing a bunch of stuff there. Let's just continue with that. Troopers in Kuala Lumpur. Chester in Reykjavik. Casablanca. We can go for some ships. Okay. No, I changed my mind. Casablanca could uh, go for some planes there. If we need to defend there. Okay. Let's end the turn and hope it won't crash. By the way, in before we do that, we'll check the map. Because we haven't checked it in a while. Um, because we haven't played in a while. So this is the entire map. Zoom in, you can see that in Africa we have 
Portugal holding at least two areas hold Beira and they hold um, Luanda then we have the British Empire started down in South Africa they have conquered areas they also held Egypt from the start I believe uh, so they've taken some areas from the Italian Empire and removed it Italy from Abyssinia or Ethiopia here we have the French Republic, we have a rebel area it's revolted from the Vichy French we have the Vichy French up here in, in uh, North Africa oh we even have a German army down here, Captain Erich I believe the Germans did have uh, they do have an area over here Tunis they also used to, to have uh, Benghazi I believe but they've lost it so that's why they have an army there. Okay. Have another army here too. Richard Juring, the general. Of course the portraits are not correct. Okay. Spain is still holding mainland Spain. Portugal has their capital Lisboa or Lisbon. Germany is still holding France except the uh, Vichy French areas of course <coughs> Milano has been taken I believe by the Vichy French I believe they didn't hold Milano at the start, it was an Italian area Italy is still holding Tripoli in Africa and mainland Italy and they hold Albania and its capital uh, this area, Tr Tirana Seems German has taken Sofia from Bulgaria. They're still holding Athens and Belgrade. Taken Novi Sad too. Oh, this is surprising. Usually the Hungarian faction always stay loyal and an ally to Germany, but in this campaign, Germany is actually fighting a war against Hungary. They will probably kill off Hungary in the campaign. They are also fighting Bulgaria. Bulgaria has two areas at the start. Sofia, their capital, and Sal Saloniki. And they only have Saloniki now. Okay. So Germany is fighting Hungary and Bulgaria, two of their allies at the start of the campaign. So we have taken Finland, but Finland is still holding Petrosavodsk. Okay, uh, and uh, Smolensk is revolted. It was held by the Germans at the start. Soviet armies have surrounded the area and will probably take it from the rebels in no time. Uh, Kursk has been conquered by, reconquered by the Soviet Union. It was held by the Italians at the start. Kharkov is held by Germany. It was held by, I believe, uh, <coughs> Hunger at the start of the campaign, or just the opposite that Kursk was held by Hungary and uh, conquered by the Italians. I don't know, <coughs> but one of them has been re reconquered by the Soviet Union and the other is held by Germany. Uh, Stalin was held by Germany at the st start. I believe Soviet will soon be upon them. Okay. Romania is about to be invaded by the Soviet. An Italian army here too. Family member. Okay. So yeah, Germany is taking care of their smaller allies. Spain is still holding mainland Spain, as we saw. Okay. Uh, hopefully this area will be reconquered as for Asia Australia is still held by the British Empire Thailand Japan here their allies Britain seems the Portuguese army is about to attack Britain ok so they started with one area here Vasco de Gama 
it's under siege by the Indians actually. An ally of Britain. They might lose that area. They still have their army over here. Might actually take an area from Britain, we'll see. Okay. As for China, they are pretty strong in the campaign. The, the communist Chinese are weak. They have Jan at the start, they still hold it. Uh, Japan is still holding Beijing and Taiwan and some other areas. Soviet is up, up here. Republic of China holding most of China. Okay, so the communist Chinese they are the People's Republic of China. Communists. They are only holding one area. I believe the the Republic of China will win. They are they are allied probably now, but they will easily kill off the communists and uh, maybe even defeat the Japanese. We'll see. They're laying siege to Jap to Japanese here in Fuzhou and in Hong Kong. Okay. <laughs> Hello the situation. Let's remove the toggle file. So I'm recording this uh, after the video where I fought a battle between Romania and uh, Soviet Union in custom battle. It's still, uh, I believe, Thursday evening. I believe clock is now. 22.40 Swedish time Thursday Okay, so uh, we'll see if this video will be uh, uploaded uh, first or if it will upload something else because I will need to process this video and we'll see. It might be uploaded after some of the others that are recorded later uh, Okay Let's check our ISILs in the Pacific or Ayers in the Pacific. So they have some planes here, they can't leave it out of the fleet. Can't leave it easy either. They had some good planes here, I would like to move them. We'll have to wait with that. They will refill the army, reinforce the army. Here we can move some troops, I believe. Can't move these, but they are just infantry. Can move the artillery here. Certainly move them there. Move them into Palembang. It's a unit of M7 priest. And then I have the Corsairs. Maybe we want one Corsair unit there. Maybe not. We'll move it. And we will keep it there. Then we'll move a unit of planes. Kuala Lumpur. Defend. Also move the artillery. Okay, I think we'll click end turn, so the game could crash. We'll see. Didn't crash. Very good. I believe it crashed the last time I clicked end turn and, and tried to play this. And then when I tried to load the campaign earlier today, I believe that it crashed, hit an error message, then I tried again and it worked, so... Sometimes it will crash during end turn, but it's not happening every time, so it's not fatal. Candidate for adoption, let's hire all the candidates for adoption, we have a lot of money. Okay, faction destroyed! Hunger has been destroyed by the Third Reich. As I suspected, they were destroyed by Germany. We have a diplomat over here. Yes. They want to move down. Yes. Yes, here we have German armies. In Minsk, we'll speak to the Germans. We want their, their 
Map information now when they have destroyed Hungary. Left click on an item in the so map information. A balanced or very generous Back in 1942, they would easily have the map information as soon as something happened. So that's why I used the total commander, uh, to total diplomacy, I mean, sheet, to, to force any faction to give me map information, and I give them ours as well. So it's fair. I believe when anything happened in World War II, uh, the entire world knew about it. So. Uh, so they are still holding Minsk here, capital of uh, Belarus. Belarus. Okay. Recruitment report. We have a new, new, some new units, mostly ships, probably. Some other units too, including planes. Some new buildings. We'll immediately go here in the tank to the fleet and then we'll move the artillery down to the yeah. army too now it's a really good army but still lacking planes you can move out there still the infantry need to make room for planes here Only if we have more than one plane in an area can we move them out. Because they are needed to defend against the Brits. Against the British. If they betray me. Ah, we have a plane unit here, perfect. We'll move this plane unit down. To the army. The unit of Corsair fighters. Either. With two down there. Okay. Yeah, I see it. We could probably leave a unit of grenadiers. We don't need too many of them. In the army. Could keep. One of them and one of the anti tanks. Then move the fleet. So we reach this area perfect. Send another unit of planes there. And uh, unit of T1 Cunninghams. And a unit of. Um, I think uh, it would be better to send the holiday persons here. Okay, so two units of Corsair fighter planes, not that many planes, unfortunately. That's a weakness, because if the enemy has more planes, they will win the battle. It's a strong force now. Lots of tanks. Mostly the worst type of tank, too. I would like this army sent somewhere. Maybe it could try to fight in South America. Maybe not. No, I think we will, we will ignore South America until something interesting happens there. Uh, we will attack Manila this turn. We will certainly try to attack in Africa. Okay, we landed with the general. Don't know 
Roosevelt is in Casablanca. Okay, we can land. Perfect. This army is ready. Eisenhower there, right the Eisenhower. Okay. Can leave uh, a bunch of infantry units here. Send the rest. They have a general, they've been Leclerc family member. I think we will attack. Yeah, we will attack the neutral faction. They fled. Okay. We have a plane unit inside of Marrakesh. I don't care if the Donald Roosevelt dies and adopt the general. Okay, so in the invasion. I think we will certainly. They had a plane unit inside. And then they have tank unit and the infantry and an officer's car. Okay, they have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, the way I see it, I think we'll move this army here. We will control the big army. So head artillery. This area has the V stall, so we will be able to enter immediately. Okay, in the attack I believe we could send some additional infantry troops. Okay, we will attack here. And south immediately we will save the game. I believe they can't win, they have too few troops this time. So I allow this army to be controlled by the AI. Yes. Okay, let's fight the battle on the battle map. Right. Yes, sir. We won't Check the armor a little bit. See the infantry here. Planes. The new army. T1 Cunningham tanks. Jeeps. It's ready. Start deployment. And because they have really long uh, reach with their like bunkers, we need to move the army back quite a bit. I don't want them to reach the army. And then we will start the battle. We will check our ally. They had two units of planes. Well, the defender only had one unit of planes, so the allied army should be able to handle the plane. And then they had a backup force. It will arrive. It will still 
I believe it had like five units of different infantry types and one tank and I believe this ally is good enough to handle that. Two units of planes is better than one plane and one tank. And the infantry we seem to have the medical advantage there too. We have an armored officer's car as well. Okay, so the ally that's the armor that was in Casablanca plus the new general, the adopted general, Donald Roosevelt. So we have assault infantry, the Americans. Oh, they had a Stokes motor. That's good. And then they have riflemen. A lot of riflemen, actually. That's why I wanted them to waste their troops first. We don't want to waste our new army if you don't have to. And they had the armed officer's car, fresh unit. They're playing on large size, by the way, in the campaign. Huge would have been too many. Okay because armies can be reinforced and such, it would lag a lot. Okay, uh, the enemy had a unit of their planes inside. I believe one unit of their planes is better than one unit of our Corsairs, but the Devitian planes are better than the Corsairs, but we have two, so we should be able to win. Their ally coming over here. Take, it will take him a while to reach the area okay stop Jamaica battle I believe our ally should attack immediately go straight for the center yeah they are firing their mortars out there dividing planes we have more planes we'll intercept so that's fine so this area Marrakesh I believe or Marrakesh was held by the free French no the the witchy French actually the, the French state the vassal of Nazi Germany state that emerged in France of they capitulated to Germany in 1940 okay we had some artillery we could uh, place them in loose formation and order them to attack their bunker it's fine Bankers with artillery. They are very far behind. Stokes motors. And the M5 Hovitzers. The Americans. Okay. <coughs> Ally has moved in here with an assault infantry unit. They are being killed by the planes. No surprise there. Assault infantry have no chance against their dividing planes. Of course not. Mortars are destroying some of their buildings. Because in Rome to the war we can destroy buildings with siege engines. Oof, I thought it would crash or something for game lock or something. So, we are finally in Africa with a new army. Fighting our first battle. <coughs> against the French. They don't seem to do anything. Okay, we will make it easy. Just send in the planes. Post the game. 
Wait a second, I need them to be loose for me sometime. And now it's time to. So, send in our planes. By the way, I think only two of them moved. So we need all of them to move. So. So the horn with General, White right Eisenhower. Okay. They are not bugged or something. I believe some units can't move over forests in Road to War. It would be really bad if they can't move there. Very weird. Then I shouldn't have moved them that far back. They can move when I do this. Good. Now they have started to f fire at each other, they have a very long range, so that's good. Okay, let's fast forward that all. They can send in their reinforcements. The mortars will continue to fire. They destroy their bunkers, perfect. Take out that one too. Have any bankers? I believe siege engines can't move through forests in Road to the War for some reason. So these uh, bankers are really effective against the infantry and tanks, especially against tanks and, and other heavy stuff. Not good against the planes. Here is the reinforcing French army. They have some Renault FT tanks. They've been in battle, so they've lost the turrets. That's what happens when they have uh, numbers that are fewer than the maximum number, then they lose their turrets, because the turrets are riders. So they lost their riders. Okay. Then they have some infantry and armored officers to cover. Bodyguard. I don't like the look of tanks when they do not have their turrets. They would be harmless in real life if they didn't have their turrets. But uh, the only way to have them moving is to have them be the, the riders. You know, on elephants you have uh, humans riding them and the turrets are the humans. And the, the tank is the elephant. If 
you make the entire tank uh, the elephant it, it would never disappear but then they wouldn't move the turret game try to take this plane need to click on their shadow in order to attack it that's why we need it to pass oh they are very bad at um, doing certain things sometimes but I think they will fire at each other now. They are close enough to each other. As for the army, we'll see. If they, will, they will reach the city without being fired at or not. So this was the same French army that we lost against previously. It's just a remnant had they didn't have many left after the, the victory. done anything. Normally they would send in their planes immediately, but I think it's because of their mortar. It was bad that they had a mortar in the army. Then they decided to use the mortar instead and wait before moving in everyone else. I believe they want the mortar to first fire, uh, fire off all their ammunition before they move in the planes and the infantry. So they shouldn't have had the Stokes mortar in, in their army. But the mortar has done a good job leveling their buildings. Look at all the buildings that have been destroyed. Thanks to the mortar. Only artillery can destroy buildings, not planes nor tanks. So and my artillery has taken out the bankers on this side. I think our artillery could uh, Fight wheel, both the stocks motor and the other artillery. We don't want to move them closer in case they will be fired at by their planes. They had planes in the area. This artillery is probably close enough to be able to fire. The Lord is with us today! We've captured the enemy's walls. Oh, we took the walls. Yeah. The M5 hobbits are can fire. Yeah. And these planes are already fighting in a dog fight here. Okay, yeah, I think. While we will be able to win against their planes. So there are the army. They're moving down here. Are they planning to attack my army all the way over there. They might. Attack this army, their main force, place it under AI control. And we can have normal speed on. Here are the T1 Cunninghams, the Americans, the light tanks. 
all of them with fully sized units. They have similar tanks and such. Germans are way too good tanks. The Italians will also be attacked now. They have better planes than the uh, French state witch, enemy general fallen. Good. Here is our general sport guard. Here they have some infantry coming. They should be no big challenge for the tanks. They didn't even need the planes in this battle. They had no planes in their second army. They didn't even bother. Yeah, it doesn't look very good on hills. The animations. Tanks, I will mean, always uh, make sure they are full units, they won't um, look bugged in battle. But I can't control enemy units, they will look bugged if they are not fully sized units. Look at this, we have a lot of tanks. We even have a unit of M4 Germans in this army. What about that? Medium tank, the medium projectile. Fires, it sounds way better. Way more powerful. Yeah, we should have defeated them by now. We're here. Like the Eisenhower's army. It's victorious. Here comes the infantry. Okay, and as for the battle inside the city. Still have some planes. Okay. Good tidings. 
Group the planes. Move the planes in. And General Fallen, very good. Send the horn to General. Okay, so we're taking the plaza, so we have the American banner in the center now. Planes inside. Their planes are too few to take it back. They are still gonna fight the deaths, I believe. We have a few planes still around. We might win due to the timer, we'll win in, in three minutes. And we won the battle. Perfect. By the victory we have won here today. Took Marrakesh, I believe. Clear victory. Battle result. So, your army is under Dwight Eisenhower, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and Ronald Roos Donald Roosevelt. Uh, so, Roosevelt lost exactly two units. No, we, no, we killed two. That's pretty bad. They only used their stocks mortar. They leveled a bunch of buildings too in the city. And they have 582 remaining. Uh, the army under Dwight Eisenhower had uh, 2,025 men, fully sized army, fresh army, killed 355 of the enemy, 2,021 remaining. After the battle, enemy army's Captain Lambulk had a unit of uh, the Eitin planes. They lost the entire unit zero remaining. It was inside of the city and then their backup force under General Balbin Leclerc had 482 men. They killed zero actually with their tanks, infantry and car. And uh, they only have 150 men remaining. Here are the battle statistics. We can see Armored officer's car killed 108 of the enemy. T1 Cunningham killed 132. Another one killed 52. Another one 25. Okay. Corsairs killed 0. Uh, one Corsair killed 11. That's probably 11 planes. Okay. When I saw a very strong light flash, I put my arms over my face unconsciously. The whole city was destroyed and burning. There was no place to go. Michiko Yamamoka, a survivor of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, August 6, 1945. Captured the settlement, let's exterminate because otherwise they will revolt. They might still revolt in this game, even though we are playing on easy to prevent that. War, United States of America and the French state which which is front. This distance is futile. Marrakesh. Good. Took Marrakesh. We'll of course give the, this plane unit to the main army. Uh, so, we want the army to move out. I believe the French have another area here. If you want to take from them Alger. They have more areas down here too. We have the Spanish here too. They are neutral. We have an army here. Just one unit, okay. We'll move uh, with this army there. The general's bodyguard. Just kill him off. Automatically resolve the battle. Yes. Okay. Glorious victory is our sire. The will side. Move these troops back to Casablanca. And this army. Move out. Plane to be 
added. Okay, we lost zero tanks, that's very good. Okay. So two soldier units there. Could also move the general there. I think about it to boost the uh, the population. Uh, I believe the the law order population order. Okay. Move almost everyone there. As, as Casablanca was the starting area, so we don't need many troops there. It won't revolt. This area might revolt, so we, we need to move troops there. For the area itself, we might want to repair some stuff. The warlords hold. And the west wall, or east wall. Okay. the army for this fleet. We can move this fleet here. It wasn't a very strong fleet. Mostly Chester ships and troopers. They might be attacked. If you are attacked at sea, I will auto win it. Because I don't want to lose an entire army like that. It's a mistake to place the army in the ship. Well, in the fleet, I mean. I thought it was a fully sized fleet. Okay. So that doesn't go that we move to the fleet. Maybe I could, could move them out. Everyone but that. Unit. Let's move into Casablanca with the army. Okay. So everything but the Stokes motor could be moved. That would be no, the boot artillery units couldn't be moved. Okay, they might be sunk. That's not good. They will have to take it if it happens. Okay. So we took an area, we'll save the game. This army is pretty strong. Okay. German is holding to where is it border there? Taking Hungary. So they've taken Hungary and uh, have large forces at Minsk. Yes, my lord. Okay. Oh, and they need to move this ship down here. Asia still far away. Anything we can remove here. I think we will 
remove a unit of anti tanks. Move in a unit of tanks there. We keep grenadiers, we need one unit of infantry at least. this time. That sucks. A lot of T1 Cunningham tanks here. Okay, we can't move that fleet this time. It sucks. Check construction. To start in uh, Boston. Maybe we'll start in Washington. Okay, so... Um, small parks, I believe. Uh, paved roads. Land clearance. All of these should be constructed already. Uh, in the German campaign I did the same thing. Any building that should be constructed uh, already available in 19. 42 should be built, like farms and uh, roads and such. Okay, uh, so process and seek Washington communal farming should already be done. Have a stable here. We get tanks. It won't be made in the same way, we'll need to construct it the normal way. Now we got some good roads there. Yeah, I think they should have uh, all of those buildings already at the start, the ones that we are available in history. Yeah. So in New York we can get uh, Boeing B-17s and other cool stuff. Nice. Okay. Highways. Land clearance. Small park. All of these should be available. Farming, medium park, crop rotation, big park, and irrigation. We'll also decrease the chances of revolts. But all of these are troop buildings, so that's a different matter. We'll start with army barracks, we'll get grenadiers and the tanks and US marines go for that we can already do US marines here and the tanks and uh, yeah I think we can already do them grenadiers then we don't need that building really and we'll just do this so we already had a unit but here we can upgrade weapons and such. Okay. Uh, we will go for uh, I think maybe there are some benefits to upgrading it. With an airport. I think we'll go for the airport here. in this area will be nice with some Boeing B-17s don't really need more than one okay in the 
other area, Boston, and clearance, paved roads. Park. That's the capital too. Ah, it's that one. Okay, uh, so uh, Boston will get the same buildings. Highways. Communal farming. Okay. Crop rotation. Medium park, big park, irrigation, we're out of money, we can't do any more now. Okay, we'll have to wait one turn. There's some good roads here now at least. We can't really recruit anything to them. Let's go for the brick wall here in Boston. Okay, I believe we're done. Can't recruit anything. We're out of money. We will attack Manila. This army. Okay, so we built a small park. Roads, land clearance, communal farming, highways, land clearance, small park, communal farming, medium park, crop rotation, big park, irrigation. My barracks and clearance, paved roads, small park, highways, criminal farming, group rotation, then Retinue expands, James Davis, architect, and addition has been made to this man's personal retinue of servants, retainers, and associates. Construction complete, medium park, big park, and irrigation. Okay. Let's attack uh, this area now. We have two tanks there and one unit of infantry. We can assault. Uh, if out resolve, they might win. We won't do that. The game could crash before and after battles, but we'll try it. Okay, let's start the battle. Right, it worked. Perfect. Start deployment. So they have the beast wall. And we need to move back the army a bit. So they are not uh, as easily shot at. T the planes can be moved forward. Infantry, assault infantry could be moved forward too. And it lose formation. One group. Plane should also be in loose formation and one group. Everything else should be in loose formation too. Start the battle, post the game. Fleet of planes. So these are the Renault FT tanks. 
full sized units of Japanese tanks. They are improved Renault FTs. They are Renault Utsus, these guys I said from the they're Renault FT is a French tank and this is a Japanese improved version of that tank. It's still a 20s tank. Tanks there. Center. Okay. The infantry is being fired at. The Japanese infantry here. Rifleman of Japan. Bankers. We had no artillery to take out the bankers, but uh, even they are so numerous that they will really uh, be able to enter a lot of them anyway. We've also killed a lot of their infantry now. Okay, they are retreating, they are broken even. They sent out their tank. Send in 
the Holy Davidson motorcycles. Actually, I might want to remove them. They are not good against tanks. Let's move back. They are good against the infantry. We'll use the planes only. General, Captain Kenichi, the Empire of Japan. Still have some right now to put some tanks. The planes are now inside the city, so that's good. We are taking down some of them, which is bad. We lost way more than I thought we would. Send in the tanks now against their tanks. I don't know why they are not placed in it. Very bad. They are inside these tanks. I want them destroyed. Let's move them to the set to the center. They're fighting the infantry driving them over. in 
infantry. No reason why not. Except these tanks, maybe. They could be a problem. Still a fun fight, even though it went way worse than I had thought. Good. They lost all the planes except for, for some reason their um, their um, best wall bunkers did take out a lot of the planes and the tanks. I didn't like that. I, I didn't expect any of my planes to be lost. They were. So we need artillery to take out these bunkers. So you won't lose a lot of planes against the bunkers. I believe it was the bunkers that took out my planes. The tanks might have done some damage to you, but without the bunkers they wouldn't have succeeded. <laughs> we need artillery. Take out the bunkers. This unit will probably do it. Can even place it in close formation. This will be faster. Attack. Here. Renault Utsus. Guys, yeah. they are broken, but they still fire. And, oh, we took the plaza. Perfect. A retreating infantry took it. Let's move the infantry to the center. Ah, they were here. Planes. I believe 
only have one plane. Yeah, we have two at least. Took, took that. Not good. The one remaining. So yeah, the, the American fighters were very good in the game. I took out that one too. Not good. Group or the dares into one group. I think we will move in the tank unit first. Hopefully, their bunkers won't take out too many. Yeah, these look better. For the sized unit. T1 Cunningham light tanks. The 30s or 20s. Early 30s or 10, late 20s. I believe they were from 1927 or something. Let's see. 1932. From 1927 to 1932. Okay. Late 20s. Okay. I believe the Renato is from 1923. So it's older. But it looked cool. Fuck you, don't stand there, move in immediately, what the fuck? Stare fucking um, guns. Might lose all of them, thanks to those bunkers. So now we learned a lesson, if we are gonna attack the beast wall, we need to always have artillery to take out the bunkers, or a lot of infantry to enter the walls, but we can't use infantry if they have planes and tanks inside. So otherwise to get stuck outside like this and uh, get fired at by the bankers. For some reason they don't move him. Very bad. Okay, the bankers even destroyed some of their turrets there. Kill their tanks now. So we lost way more tanks than, than I wanted. And all the planes. Got one of their tanks there. Very good. Another one. Still win the battle, but we can't really advance more. We need to build up the army again. And we now need artillery for her. We want artillery in all our armies. And the bankers. Got another one. Probably only have one left. Took it out, perfect. Yeah, these tanks look way worse. How they're built. Good, I believe we won the tank battle. They have a unit of infantry at the center, and we'll go there now. Send in the motorcycles too. Guard. Okay, I'm moving in with 
the Holy Davidson motorcycles. The enemy army frees the field. Could Let's end the battle here. Down. We'll continue and kill them. It cost so much damage to my army. I want to exterminate the rest of them. Two remaining. Kill them. Been we that were slain and defeated on the field. The state has been kind and delivered us victory. All right, close victory. Your all man there, Kenneth Murphy, had 859 men, killed the 187 of the enemy. Have 583 remaining. We lost quite a few. Enemy all man there, Captain Kenichi, had 349 men. Uh, killed 320, they did very well. The tanks did way better than expected, and their bunkers. Uh, men remaining 161, they will all be dead because this is a siege battle we won. So all of them will die. Okay, see the battle statistics here. Okay, so the planes did pretty well, and okay, killing enemy troops. My Luftwaffe is invincible, and so now we turn to England. How long will this one last? Two, three weeks? Hermann Göring, United Port. Exterminate the population, so we won't have revolts. Okay. So now these tanks will be broken. That sucks. Can you expand? Kenneth Murphy, decorated hero. Nice. Senate mission. Take settlement Manila, which was a mission. You have been rewarded uh, Ubuntu for your efforts. That's good. We got money. Uh, resistance is futile, Manila. Common okay. all farming. Large town. This area is not a American one that starts. We won't use any sheets to get to the common all farming here. But the, in the mainland American areas, we will get all that stuff that they should have at the start. Okay. Here are some troops, we can move them back to the city. Here are British areas, we'll move uh, troops back. Okay, so we took Manila. We had huge losses there. I think we'll leave the army there for now. We might want to send reinforcements from somewhere. Move this artillery unit down to Kuala Lumpur. Them seven priests. Five hordes, sir. Could be moved down. From Batea, uh, Batela. No Batavia, actually. Okay. Reinforcements here before we can move. Move to this higher. Can't move, okay. We need the ships and the tanks first of all. Don't need the general. Well, Britain could attack. We 
might need to stay station some trips there. We don't care about that now. If Britain uh, takes the area, we'll take it back later. We need the artillery unit. We don't need Douglas MacArthur. Assault infantry. Grenadiers. The tank units. Produce the infantry. The, the better infantry. Move this rifleman back to the city. Okay, we're done here. We also want to move down there. So we have exactly eight units there. Then we have uh, nine units here. They will be merged, probably, some of them too. We need to move to Oniara and uh, these planes. We lost a few planes in the last battle. Okay. So we have uh, another force here, but mostly infantry. We don't want war with Thailand. So we won't attack them. We might, however, attack Japan here. Okay. Um, couldn't move the army here outside of Panama. We have a pretty strong army, the strongest yet. Not the strongest in terms of planes. Okay. Could move some fleets. Okay, I think it's time to end. We'll save the game because we won a battle. And then we'll end the turn. I believe we haven't done anything uh, anywhere. I, I, I don't think we can attack anywhere. Or miss our stack. Okay, I think we'll end the turn. Alright, Mr. Newland here, welcome back to Total War 1942 and the United States of America campaign. Uh, we're playing uh, a mod for Rome Total War and Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. It works for both games. But the naval battles in custom battle and in historical battles do not work with the vanilla game. Uh, everything else works with both. It's not for Alexander. It's a mod made by Dave Rianis and Salut Tsar. Okay, and I did uh, all the quotes and the faction descriptions, Salsa did the map uh, and uh, some other stuff and scripts and such and uh, Dagwex 3 and did the rest. Okay, it's a mod set in World War 2. We will activate the script. So the game, game locked when I click end turn. Uh, so uh, I managed to start it up again. I don't know if you are on the same turn or not. We 
We'll see. Yeah, I can move the artillery, so it's a new turn. So if the game game looks when clicking end turn, we just start it up again. And then it will load fine, and you will start at the beginning of the next turn. So that's good. Okay, if it crashes, just try again. I have had a crash when I try to start it up, you're loading an auto save, but for the most part it should work. Uh, we will uh, disembark these artillery units. Um, five hobbitsers. Don't really need uh, riflemen. Move out one of the riflemen units for now. So you can move in the Stokes motor. It's much more needed. To take out those horrible east wall bunkers. Uh, so it's too dangerous to have the army in the ships. Have we moved out the entire army? That wasn't intended. Uh, okay, we will move the. Took motor into the big army. And the Dwight Eisenhower, I believe. And um, we'll immediately move towards this area. Alger held by the French state. Okay. Here they have an entire army. have um, a brick wall here. Okay, we'll do this. We'll move out the artillery. Infantry into the army. So I want to use the artillery. Attack the city. He's defending. Problem with having White Ice and having leader armies, he might be killed. Faction air. Don't really want that. I think we'll move him back. This army be led by this guy, the adopted family member Donald Roosevelt. We will let that army attack from this side. So they can attack, but I don't see any artillery. Uh, okay, we will. Uh, there might not be much of a wall, but they have the brick wall too. Okay, we will attack with the artillery and let the real army be controlled by the AI. Let's say the game, in case the game crashes. This will be an epic battle. Get the entire army of which the French. They seem to have the upper hand. A lot of infantry, they have two units of planes, two units of tanks, they have the walls, they have the anti aircraft gun. I think we should be able to win.
Actually, I might not want to attack. We will wait one turn and let them sally out. Then we'll fight the battle on the battlefield. It'll be more epic. Okay, so it will be a battle on the battlefield there. Two more infantry units to the army. Three actually. They are more prepared for that battle. They have a fleet here. Trans State Witch, one ship, and we have a huge, no, just one fleet of German ships. Take it out. Take out the Nazi fleet there. Take out the French one too. What? They have a unit of Shale U battleships, I see. It's way stronger than ours. We have one unit of troopers and then we have a lot of Chesters. So their ships are better. Attack. They had one ship, but it's a much bigger ship than our smaller ships. So they have an entire. F no, they have more ships there. Then we have the Nazis here. Uh, they will sell out if we wait one turn, so we'll do that. Hopefully, the Nazis won't aid them. The British are ally. Under General James Holland, we're about to attack the Italians. We have an, almost an entire army here, too. Including anti tank troops, riflemen, aircraft trucks, and Fire 3000 light tank, the reverse tank. And some scout snipers, too. Look at the French, they have the, the aircraft trucks. The white in planes, Renault FT tanks, riflemen, assault infantry, scout snipers, and as should be able to win on the battlefield, maybe even in a siege battle, but I don't want to take a risk there. It's better to fight on the battlefield. We should have the advantage. Okay, we had a fleet over here we needed to move. Planes into this army or into the fleet. I mean. Good. Now we'll move them back. Come to more this time. And an army here too in this fleet. We need to move. question is where do we want to move this army? It's a good force, it would do well everywhere. It has few planes. I think we will go for uh, Africa and attack the Vichy French. Over here maybe. Town, large town, Dakar maybe. We're on the way. This 
fleet is very good. There are lots of New Orleans, Iowa's, and New Mexico's. Chester's troopers. Really good fleet. This army has one unit of infantry, so we will be able to use siege equipment. They will invade Vichy France with the army. This army should be able to fight them very well. Gain a foothold in North Africa. Okay, now we will just have to build the continue what we did last time. So in Washington we are doing stables, Chicago, highways, land clearance, small park. Process CQ Chicago. Then we'll do the medium park and they come in on farming. The crop rotation and the big park. And the irrigation. Okay. Catapult range, aerodome. We have all the infantry available, pretty much. We have artillery, maybe not all. We have some planes. Okay, we will. Army barracks. We have the marines, we have them already. I think we have all the. The infantry, then we can do this one too. Okay. Then we'll just go for the. Leave the aerodrome. Dome. Aerodrome. Aerodrome, actually, will be built. Denver and clearance, highways, small park, then where all right, you're almost out of money now. The big park, okay. Can't do much more this time. Some modern roads and such. Just uh, you need to move the fleet with the diplomat here too. Reached on the air. All the way over there. Okay, let's end the time. Oh, they sell that as expected. We have a battle on the battlefield. We have a lot of infantry, riflemen. Of the infantry, scout snipers. Okay, we 
Now the FT tanks, the Viking planes, the aircraft trucks, two units of tanks, two units of planes, one unit of the aircraft trucks, a lot of riflemen, two units of assault infantry, and one unit of scout snipers. Save the game. They attack the weaker army, of course. But we will have the other one back us up. Okay, let's fight battle on the battle map. Hope it won't crash. To die for the emperor is to live forever. Japanese army slogan. Started perfect. And then we need these to fire immediately. Fire it will. Want them to fire. The siege engines. They are too slow to retreat. A rifleman will just stand here. Fight to the death. Fire. The M5 Hovitzers should also start to fire. The motors are more effective. At the start of the battle. Fire the sooner. The rest of the army is over there. Here comes the army. T1 Cunninghams and the Corsairs. Here are our Corsair planes. The T1 Cunninghams. More Corsairs. More T1 Cunninghams. Donald Roosevelt, the adopted family member. And more Corsair planes. Here the infantry. Salt infantry. I have boosted the army with a bunch of riflemen and such. Fill it up. They're removing the, the artillery. Oh, they have a wall with a gate this time. They have an army inside. The planes can't move inside. Okay, then I don't want them to attack at will anymore. Attack their gate, actually. I wanted them to attack um, <coughs> at will first because I thought they were selling out. Now we will attack the gate. Stop attacking. And attack the gate. Stop attacking. And attack the gate. Okay, we need the gate to be opened, otherwise, we lose the battle if, if the gate is not destroyed. And they are out of ammo. These are the M5 Hovitzers. Second worst artillery of America. The best one in this army. It should be stronger than the Stokes mortars. Seem to take a long time firing. The missiles. So the plane should be able to fire inside, but Unfortunately, they can't enter without the gate being down. Here we have the French, bitch French troops inside. We have a lot of troops. And then the aircraft trucks. And even some planes. Yeah. They destroy the gate. Perfect. Now it's time to destroy their towers, they are destroyed, they are, they are destroyed, good. Then we'll destroy this one too. And this one. Towers can still fire at us. They have machine gunners, I believe, on top of these towers. Our ally 
should be able to enter there now. We have their general's bodyguard. I want them to have a general's bodyguard because otherwise they are stupid. But I didn't want it to be Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, uh, so, so the M5 Hovitzer did fire there. I saw a pretty from it. It's more straightforward than the Hawks motor. Destroy the wall too. In this area. The witchy friends, they had helmets. I didn't know that. machine guns here yeah, it will fire I need them to be taken out okay, we hit the tower there but it wasn't destroyed Fire. Can we place this on fire to be all? The enemy didn't sell out like they should have done. I did a mistake, I believe. When I besieged the city, I should have just stood outside. They would have attacked me anyway, I believe. Then we would have had that battle on the battlefield. I didn't want the siege battle. I forgot that if I besiege, they will sell out from the city. Oh, our, ship, uh, our planes have leveled up. Okay, I believe some of them should be able to enter. Fire inside. This time they didn't have a lot of bunkers and such. So our Hovitzers. I mean, Stokes Motors should take out this turret here. So the Stokes Motors are really good against defensive positions. I prefer them over the other artillery, they hit more often and fire more often. Send in our infantry against 
their infantry with cannon fodder. Oh, the tanks are starting to move, and we started to move in. Perfect. Hopefully, they will enter. T1 Cunninghams. They will enter, I believe. Infantry in one group. Our infantry should enter. Someone is firing at us. Didn't know if they had any. Not hindering. We have destroyed this unit. Very good. And we are killing them here. Here we have tanks. Our infantry is finally entering. Our riflemen. We don't really want them to go that way. Move that there instead. We don't want you to fight their tanks. you to fight their infantry. Captain died, doesn't matter. 